Hi everyone. I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. It's not supposed to be a secret. It was never intended to be a secret, but it seems like not enough people know about it uh, for it to be called anything other than a secret. Okay? So, we know that when I write 2 multiplied by A, we know that multiplication is a, a nice way of fast-tracking addition. We know that 2 times A is equal to A plus A. Two A's. And this is just a fast way of writing that. Okay? And therefore, if I write 2 multiplied by A plus B, what that means is I've got an A plus B here, and I'm going to add to that another A plus B. Now, thanks to the, the commutative law of addition, the order does not matter between those that A and that B there, so I can write that as A plus A plus B plus B. And then, again, because we know that multiplication is a fast-track uh, way of writing addition here, this is going to be 2A plus 2B. And so we see that 2 multiplied by A plus B is the same as 2A plus 2B. So what does that mean? Well, what you were told a long time ago, and this is what I want you to understand about this, is that multiplication does distribute over addition. Okay? Multiplication does distribute over addition. And we just saw that right here. Now let's take a look at another rule. If you've got a squared, okay, we know that the exponent is just a way of fast-tracking multiplication. We know that a squared means a multiplied by a, and I'm using the dot to represent multiplication. Okay, we know that. And if you've got a square there, that means we've got two factors of, of a there. Now, if I've got, in parentheses, a multiplied by b, and I want to make sure that that operation is there, uh, that it's clear, okay, a multiplied by b, I know that that means, just like it did up here, that's going to be a multiplied by b, multiplied by a multiplied by b. That square means it's the whole thing, whatever is in parentheses, multiplied by itself. Now, multiplication is commutative, just like addition, so I can change the order of those two middle factors. So that becomes a multiplied by a, multiplied by b, multiplied by b. And just as we saw up here, I can now fast track this bit of multiplication, and I will get a squared multiplied by b squared. And so what we're seeing here is another rule that you saw a while ago, okay, and that is that exponentiation does distribute over multiplication. Exponentiation does distribute over multiplication, and that's just what we saw. That square distributed to both of those factors there. Now let's take a look at another example here. Let's say that you've got a plus b squared. Well, we know that that means I've got a plus b as a factor twice. So it's a plus b multiplied by a plus b. That's, that's what square means. Now, when I've got multiplication, okay, I'm taking this bit right here, maybe just cover it up with my thumb. This is my thumb multiplied by a plus b. There's addition. Well, I know, I already know that multiplication does distribute over addition. So I know that that could look like this. That's going to be a plus b multiplied by that a plus a plus b multiplied by that b. Okay, I did the exact same thing here that we did up here. I just distributed that 2, okay, to both, okay, to both of those terms there. Now, because order doesn't matter for multiplication, I can rewrite that as a times a plus b plus b times a plus b. Oh, and there it is again. I can distribute a by both of those terms there. So this becomes a times a, or a squared, plus ab plus b times a, plus b squared. And now because order does not matter with multiplication, I can actually see that these two terms are exactly the same. And so then I will have two of them. So this becomes a squared plus 2ab plus, whoops, plus b squared. So there's my final result. Oh, now wait a minute, look at that. Look at that a plus b squared, a squared, b squared, plus something else. OK, 
okay? The reason I want to draw this to your attention is because I you need to notice at this point here, <gasps> exponentiation does not distribute over addition, okay? Exponentiation does not distribute over addition. So when you say, when you do this in your homework, when you do this on an exam, when you say that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, okay, this is wrong. Okay, you are, you are mistaking the rule. You're actually trying to piece together the two previous rules that we looked at where, okay, where multiplication does distribute over addition, where exponentiation does distribute over multiplication, and you're trying to now distribute that exponentiation over that addition, and it doesn't work like that. Okay, it does not work like that. When you do that, that's a rule that you are making up. Your teachers never did it for you. It was never modeled for you, okay? This is you being creative with the mathematics, and I'm just, I want you to know that is incorrect, okay? A, square, a plus B squared does not equal, okay, A squared plus B squared. That is wrong. Okay, so I just want to say it again. Please let this be your mantra. Exponentiation does not distribute over addition.